out of fear. I'm, I'm going to die. Surely, the way to get information on children's sexuality is not by asking men who have a vested interest in saying children are sexual and they enjoy being sexual. Nobody has said that the best way of getting information about childhood sexuality is by talking to paedophiles. Kinsey didn't say that. He simply reported some information of that kind because he thought it was worthy of consideration. Based on Kinsey's writings, he proved fully and wholly of adult child sexual interactions, what he called play or interactions. Not only that, he recommended uh, that uh, adults uh, could uh, effectively aid children in, uh, in better sexual lives by giving them quote unquote orgasms at a very early age. Without help from more experienced persons, many pre-adolescents take a good many years to discover masturbatory techniques that are sexually effective. It is probable that half or more of the boys in an uninhibited society could reach climax by the time they were three or four years of age. In his final years, Kinsey would testify before legislatures and courts that pedophilia was a less dangerous problem than public intolerance of it. Kinsey said some of the most brilliant things imaginable about that. Uh, pedophilia is an almost non-existent um, uh, kind of crime, and the thing that he hated most about it is that people use words like uh, child molestation. What is that? Nobody knows. Um, <laughs> the, uh, abuse of children? Are they talking about bollocks them against the ear or hitting them with a stovepipe? Are they talking about uh, tickling them a little? Uh, are you talking about fondling? You're going to put fondling and death attacks in the same group? As Kinsey said, by this kind of paranoia, you do the child more damage for life than all the pedophiles in the world would do. Pedophiles are very sad people. I think the fact that they're even taking the information from a pedophile perpetuates the abuse. It glorifies it to that pedophile. Esther White wants an independent inquiry into Kinsey's involvement with pedophiles. And an investigation of the child abuse diary is still locked inside the Institute. Those archives need to be opened up so people can understand that if they feel they were connected with the Kinsey Institute, that they can go back and know for sure. But Kinsey's surviving colleagues say their original promises of confidentiality make this impossible. We were asking people to put their careers and their marriages on the line by talking to us. To ask them to place that much trust in us, we had to be absolutely trustworthy. We were willing to go to jail if need be, or destroy the records if need be. We've thought about that on several occasions. Or destroying the records? Yeah. Because uh, th I even thought about it recently when some of the politicians started getting interested in the Institute. And there was a senator in, uh, from Texas that wanted a congressional investigation of the Institute and its records. <laughs> then there was a local senator in Indiana, Burton. He wanted the Institute investigated. You know, they all said, oh, you probably have, uh, you know, case histories of sex criminals, and we'd like to get those records so we could catch these people, you know, that sort of thing. And when they start talking like that, then we seriously think, what would happen if we started facing court orders or if uh, search people came in with a warrant to seize what we had. Yeah, so we've made precautions. <laughs> what sort of precautions? I mean, all we have to do is destroy the code and some uh, card files, and that does it. Then the case histories are absolutely unreadable. The Kinsey Institute says it will not destroy its records. 
it is republishing both of Kinsey's original volumes, including all the material provided by pedophiles. Oh, they're going to be republished? I would like to stop that. I don't know how to do it, but I would like to do that. They used me, and they used those children. And that's a terrible way to feel, to feel that you've been used for a lie.